Like everybody on the face of the earth, I adore Oscar Isaac. So please wait until the end of this video before popping off in the comments down below as we have a difficult discussion and I'm not even sure how I feel about this, quite frankly. But we have a difficult discussion that I think that Hollywood is having right now and fans are going to have to have as well as they decide, as you decide, how to react to casting choices. All right? Because there's a lot of roles out there right now, right? There's like an abundance of opportunity, man. So I don't think... Well, you'll see. All right? It's a tough conversation. All right, so Oscar Isaac has been cast as Moon Knight. Well, he hasn't been cast just yet. He's in negotiations. A little like how Joaquin Phoenix was going to be Doctor Strange. So it's, the deal has not been signed. But it's probably pretty close to being signed if it got into the trades. So throughout all the discussion for who should play Mark Spector, from people throwing out names like Keanu Reeves and stuff like that, throughout it's been discussed that it needs to be an actor of Jewish heritage. People are saying, how about Shia LaBeouf? Because the character is Jewish in the comics and it's one of the few prominent Jewish characters in comics, uh, right up there with like Kitty Pride. He's the son of a rabbi in the comics. So it's a big part of the character. And Oscar Isaac is a fantastic, wonderful, likable actor, but he is not Jewish. So Kevin Feige definitely zigged there when everybody expected him to zag. Uh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Kevin... I, it's, well, let's just... Let's talk this out. All right, so Al Pacino, by the way, he's not Jewish, and he was very well received, as was the show in Jordan Peele's uh, recent Hunters, although lead actor Logan Lerman is Jewish. Uh, and I know some of you might be like, I'm popping off now, Grace. I'm popping off now. You might be furiously typing down below. It's cold acting. But we're living in an age of representation, at least we're supposed to be. I don't know what we did all summer if we're not. Um, it's tough because it matters to some people. I guess it depends at the end of the day, how many, if who does it matter to more in terms of box office dollars? That's where we're really gonna, you know, in, in eyeballs. Although I, I have a hard time thinking anybody would be that upset with Oscar Isaac being cast in a role. That's where, it, this is where it gets really tricky because he's not a bad choice. He just doesn't fit the, fit the description. So the reason this, this is important, because again, of course, Oscar Isaac I mean, uh, could act, right? But you know, there are actors out there who are in need of a break, who if they can't get roles that they actually fit the description, then what hope is there for them going forward? That's where this comes from a lot. So Oscar Isaac gets a ton of work, right? Oliver Jackson Cohen, whose background is actually not just Jewish, but Jewish Egyptian. Can you believe this? That plays in perfectly with Moon Knight. And I said he'd love to play the character. He doesn't get as much work, but Jackson Cohen does have enough work to be a viable candidate for an MCU show. He's not coming out of nowhere. But he's, he's just on the cusp of stardom. He needs that big break. And Moon Knight could have been it. You might be like, well, Oscar Isaac needs a big break too, Grace. Oscar Isaac has had big break after big break after big break. He's an upcoming dude movie for Pete's sake. Oscar Isaac has a lot of opportunity. And quite frankly, there's another role he could take. Craven the Hunter, a movie being directed by his frequent collaborator, J.C. Chandor. And so Oscar Isaac could be Craven the Hunter, although he's not Russian either, but he could be Craven. You could, you could, I don't think it's that integral that Craven come from Russia. He could be Latino. He could be Hispanic. I think that would be fine. But an Oliver Jackson Cohen could be Moon Knight, and we could all be happy. So let's see what happens, all right? Uh, I think that maybe that's one of the reasons this might have leaked, even though it's just in negotiations, to see if anybody will have a problem with Oscar Isaac not being Jewish. Maybe that's why they did that. Maybe that's why they did that. And so far, I checked, social media doesn't seem that upset about it because Oscar Isaac is so beloved and such a wonderful actor. Maybe Mark, so we'll see. You know, we have to see if the media fans in the Jewish community will give him a pass. Uh, that's, that's really the only wrinkle in casting Oscar Isaac, and it could come up now, but you have to be careful because it might not come up till they've actually filmed the show and people are looking for an angle in which to cover it and they decide that's their angle, which would be bad. You have to think defensively in Hollywood these days. So... You, you know, you're leaving yourself open for possible criticism. And, you know, why does the show and the actors involved need that? 
So in the comics, as I said, Mark Spector is a Jewish character, the son of a rabbi. Now they could take that out of the character if they wanted to. I mean, that would be a, let's say, interesting choice to strip that element away from the character. I mean, Moon Knight, is not as popular a character as Kitty Pride. I mean, he's certainly one of the most high-profile Jewish characters in comics, but that just goes to show you how few there are. Not a lot of people know who Moon Knight is. And the trades, for instance, didn't mention that it's a Jewish char character, interestingly enough. Did they get their marching orders from Marvel not to bring that up? Instead, they focus on the fact that Moon Knight is somebody who gets his powers from an Egyptian moon god. But Oscar Isaac isn't Middle Eastern either. He's Latino and he's Christian. Could he play Jewish? Could he play Middle Eastern? He undoubtedly could, but are we moving past that or not? I think that's, that's really like, and I think we're mixed. I think people are mixed on where they are on that point. And I think some of you, even some of you care sometimes and sometimes you don't care. But if you don't care all the time, Hollywood's gonna feel that you don't really care any time, any of the time. So I would say if you do care, you, got, you gotta be consistent about it. Hey, if you don't care, that's fine too. Hey, you know, it's this we're all dealing with the fans, right? You know, the biggest group wins, uh, but just realize what you're doing. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. But I mean, at the same time, as much as we all love Oscar Isaac, there is an actor of Jewish Egyptian descent standing right there who'd love the role and he's not getting it. So that's kind of weird to me. But back to Oscar Isaac, after trying out a lot of different franchise roles, boy, you gotta give it, you gotta hit it to him for not giving up. This could definitely be the one that actually fits. It could. I mean, again though, I don't think it's as good as Craven. I think Craven's the better role for him. I don't know. I mean, I would, how would you advise Oscar Isaac in this situation since he has not signed? Uh, and I'd be like, if you're gonna give it to, I'd be like, I will only not take this role if you give me Craven and you give, you give it to Oliver Jackson Cohen. I would hate for either of them to lose out. Although I do like Shia too for the role, to be honest with you. Interestingly, anyway, Isaac has been rumored in the past for Batman. I thought he would have made a great Batman. Uh, and you might be like, why can we change Batman, Grace? Well, that's a character that has been done so many times. Sometimes it's important to change things up a little bit to keep it interesting. But Moon Knight has never been done before. So you gotta do it the right way the first time. You gotta, be, you gotta do it based on the source material the first time. And only then, after many, many iterations, can you play around with it. Uh, so anyway, Moon Knight, though, is a similar character to Batman, so I think it's interesting that Oscar Isaac just found a different variation of the character to play. Also, despite getting significantly shortchanged uh, throughout his Star Wars experience, Isaac has played nice with Disney, and now he's being rewarded with a choice role in a different division, division, just like Kelly Marie Tran was. So, you know, remember the politics of Hollywood. Uh, some actors uh, do not. And I'm not just talking about John Boyega. I think Henry Cavill has the same issue. You know, it's important to be liked by the people who are hiring you. Uh, and Isaac certainly has the acting chops to play a character with multiple personality disorder. Uh, interestingly, the MCU has not one, but two Disney Plus shows dealing with mental illness, which is very interesting indeed. Also, Isaac is definitely high caliber talent, the kind who would not seem out of place uh, when and if, Feige has said he will bring these characters up to the up to the movies, although Moon Knight seems like a less obvious one to bring up to the movies than say She-Hulk. But if Feige decides to bring him up to the big screen, Oscar Isaac would totally fit in. Finally, Moon Knight is in the hands of Umbrella Academy's Jeremy Slater, which means it's in good hands. Uh, that's another reason that it's hard, it's hard to really freak out about this too much because you're like, but Jeremy Slater is so talented too. Like Oscar Isaac and Jeremy Slater working together. How can this not work out? But why would they make such an obvious mistake? It's crazy. Although this is also interestingly interesting. Oscar Isaac looks a lot like Aiden Gallagher. And to be honest, they both look like Jeremy Slater. So it seems he really likes to envision himself in his lead characters. So what do you think of this potential casting? Again, I think it's it's really hard to have a problem with Oscar Isaac in a role. I think he's gonna be amazing, and I think he could play the qualities of this character, but are we moving past that or not? Especially, again, when other actors who can play the roles authentically are available. I'm very curious to what you think about this. It's really difficult, it's difficult. It's a difficult situation. All right, so you may now pop off down below, uh, share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.